I walked out on my date after five minutes. Hey everyone, today's video is all about one of the most frustrating experiences in the modern dating world. When your date doesn't quite look or seem like the person you were expecting based on their dating profile. We've all been there, right? You match with someone. Their pictures look great. Their bio seems interesting and compatible with what you're looking for. But then you meet up in person and, well, it's just not quite what you signed up for. So what do you do in that situation? Is it shallow to just get up and leave? Is it better to stick it out and give them a chance? Or is it totally understandable and even advisable to politely excuse yourself? That's what we're going to dive into today from a few different perspectives. The give them a chance perspective. There's definitely an argument to be made that you should try to look past the physical differences or any minor discrepancies between the dating profile and the actual person. After all, Dating profiles are carefully curated snapshots. They can't possibly capture the full essence of who someone is. And doesn't just ditching the date because of how they look promote shallow values. When you really think about it, most of us probably bend the truth at least a little bit on our dating profiles by choosing only the most flattering pictures or weaking a few details here and there. If we all have a zero tolerance policy, then no one would ever get past the first date. It's not unreasonable to think that someone might come across differently in person, but that doesn't automatically make them a liar or mean you can't still connect with their real personality. So from this angle, it would be wise to at least stick around and have an actual conversation before making up your mind. Put the physical stuff aside for a bit and try to vibe with who they are. You might find you actually really click, or at the very least, it prevents you from coming across as shallow or judgmental. The honesty is the best policy perspective. On the other hand, a solid argument can be made that if someone has been dishonest or extremely misleading on their dating profile, you are totally within your rights to politely end the date early if you feel you've been misled. Dating is ideally about finding someone compatible, and that's very difficult when you've started off on dishonest footing. Sure, putting your most flattering foot forward on a dating profile is normal. Using slightly dated photos or shaving off a few pounds is pretty common padding nowadays. But there's a line that shouldn't be crossed, especially when it comes to things that can't just be brushed off as insecurity or putting your best face forward. Major age differences from what was stated. Severely outdated profile photos that no longer resemble the person huge discrepancies in basic facts like height or body type. These go beyond just making yourself look a bit more appealing. In cases like that, it starts to feel like active deception right out of the gate. And deception isn't a great foundation for building any kind of romantic connection or trust. Why would you want to pursue something with someone who feels the need to be so misleading right from the beginning? It's disrespectful of your time and interest. Additionally, it raises questions about what other mistruths might be coming if you let this person into your life. It's not shallow to have deal breakers or want a partner who is honest and upfront. My take, ultimately, I don't think there's one right answer here that applies to every situation. Context matters a ton. If we're talking minor discrepancies, like their hair was a different color or they describe themselves as athletic but aren't particularly ripped. Honestly, that's not a huge deal in my book. We all know dating profiles involve a bit of strategic angling. As long as it's not a dramatic difference, it might be worth sticking around to actually meet the person. However, if we're talking dramatic age differences, utterly misleading photos that make them appear starkly different, or very different body types slash lifestyles than were portrayed. Those aren't little white lies. Those are big deals that speak to either severe insecurities and lack of self-acceptance on their part, or active deception. 
Both of those are potent red flags in my dating book. So I personally would feel totally comfortable politely ending the date early if the misrepresentation was civil enough. At the end of the day, dating is ideally about finding people you can genuinely connect with and want to spend more time getting to know. Physical attraction and honesty matter hugely for that. So if the person seems night and day different from their profile in major ways, it might not be shallow at all to cook bait and keep on swimming until you find someone who gives you that spark from the start by just being themselves. Of course, that's just my take. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this common dating situation. When would you decide to give someone a chance despite differences from their profile? And when would you feel justified leaving early? Have you been on a date where the person didn't at all match their profile? If so, what did you do and how did you handle it? Let's discuss. Conclusion, all right friends. Those are my thoughts on whether or not to bail on a date if your date really doesn't seem like their dating profile. Remember, there's no universal right or wrong way to go about this. It depends on the exact situation and what you personally feel comfortable with. Just some food for thought from my perspective. Let me know your take down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more dating advice, stories, and discussions. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.